Welcome back, everyone. With me, Andrew. This is F Building FC Andorra. I'm kind of giving that unofficial name, even though I'm just calling it FC Andorra. On the thumbnails, but we're here. We're in La Liga. We are eight games in and doing all right. I was looking at last season and Getafe stayed up on 29 points. So 38 games. My aim is a point a game. Get a point a game, 38 we could finish 12th, 13th and definitely not go down. Eight games in, we've got 10 points. It's going all right. Uh, results have been mixed, which you would expect from this level. We started with a one, one each draw at home to Valencia. Happy with that. Got a point in Bilbao. Delighted with that. And they only scored from a corner as well. Uh, then we lost 2-1 to Espanyol, which is the first game I kind of had a go. Went on positive. They scored two, they scored an early goal, then 60 minutes, and then we got a late goal. We got pumped by Sevilla, but they were top at the time. I think we actually had the better XG. To get beat 5-1 and have an XG of 2.17, there's a 2.41. We were not terrible. I dropped home to Villarreal, but they were in the bottom three. Then we beat Osasuna, then we beat Lugo, which was what a game. Uh, was 3-0 up, cruising, 3-3, three, 4-3 three, three down, and then Oswaldo scored, and they got a late one. It was 5-3 down, 5-4. Cracking game, not for me. And then we got a 1-1 one, one draw with Atletico. Like, we're getting points where we shouldn't. And maybe Espanyol's the only game that, I'm, that I was unhappy about. Squad-wise, we've got goals from Gelabert. No assists yet. He's also injured for a couple of weeks. Yeah, another two weeks of Gelabert out. Brenner's got four, he got a hat trick against Lugo. Mazucci's got two. Carranza's got one goal and two assists, he's doing well. Someone who isn't doing well is Samuel and Titi. He's been fucking dreadful. Averaging a 6.65, he's got a 6.1 at one point. 6.1 against Sevilla, came off a half time. 6.3s, did well against uh, Osasuna. But we had more of the ball, you can see the passes there, probably something to do with it. He got injured, I was quite happy with that. Now we're back, we're going to play Getafe on camera today because Getafe are 10th, we're 11th. I thought this is a game we're going to go for on positive, we're going to try and get a win. And probably lose. So with Gelber out, Valcarque is going to start as the SS. Uh, actually, because that... I've been playing Carranza as a false nine in the last game because he's got dribble in 15, he's fast. I might play him as the SS because he can play there. He's got four and three and a half stars there. And then we'll give Bamba Diang, who's got 12 dribble and 13 finishing, 16 acceleration. Let's try let's try him as the false nine. Why not? Uh Pelio's done well when he's come in, Marin's done well. I'm still happy with the midfield. I've changed the Mazala to attack to maybe give us a little bit more of attacking impetus going forward. And we're going to play on positive and see if we can get a result against uh, Getafe. Here we go, another home game in Andorra against Getafe. Three points would be tremendous here. But it'd be good just not to lose. No names that I recognise. What I love is this bit of winter sun coming in, making the lighting on this look amazing. I could not even got the ring light on. Not even got the side light on. You can barely see the blue lights behind us. Throw on down the left, Rousselon. Into Diang. Fran. Rousselon's been hit and miss so far. Marin out way to Jean Vier, into Alvarado. Let's see if we can get him into the box more. Etienne Green, way out of his goal. Rousselon goes down the left, breaks in, cuts it back to Fran. Fran with the cross. It's cleared away. Marin picks it up, looking for options. My hope is eventually to get someone a bit more better down that right and go a bit more attacking down with the right back to give us more width. Brenner. Carranza! Yes! Oswaldo Carranza from the SS position gets his second of the season. Lovely little move. Brenner to Jean Vier. Holds it up well. Gives it back to Alvarado to Brenner. Bit of an overload. Loads of space for Oswaldo to have a dig. 
he is my little hope, my little gem. The fact that he's still a five-star prospect in La Liga, I've got a lot of hope. And I'm just hoping our reputation can rise fast enough that we can hold on to him. And that was the only highlight in the first half. Uh, we are stopping them from playing completely. Not creating loads, but the possession 71%. I've left everything. If they start to come into it, I might have to like press their defence and stuff, but there's no point changing anything when we've dominated so much. We just need that second goal. Alvarado. Carranza. Kind of want Carranza to show a little bit more creativity. That's lovely. That's lovely. Alvarado will have a dig. Oh, just wide. I think that position, if we can get someone better down the line, could be really dangerous having that fourth man making the runs and this is where we need the second goal half an hour to go Katafi on the attack that's a good ball Hugo Duro save Etienne Green James takes the corner Rousselon gets it away it's not fully over with yet brought Simone on for Diang he hadn't done much I don't really want it I don't have another right back to replace Jean B. That is a problem. Jean B gets it away. There goes Brenner. He's kind of on his own at the moment. Does well. Should find Jean B. Into Carranza. Back to Carranza. He's got a left foot. Oh, he should have kept going. He was free. Now we go time wasting. All the subs are on. 10 minutes to go. Jean Vier with a long throw, finds Brenner at the near post, cuts it back to Zuli, back to Jean Vier. And that's where I want. Oh, it's a bad mistake from Jean Vier, he's giving it away. That's why I think I need an actual right back. Someone who can. There, we want someone to take on the defence and get down the byline. I've got fears of an equaliser here. Here's Fran, Mazzucci, Carranza. Go on, Carranza. Go on, Carranza. All the way. Oh my god, he's missed that! <laughs> How's he missed that? Corner kick, Cranvitter plays it in. Oh, it's cleared off the line. Oh, don't let them score. Roussillon, Jean Vier, Etienne, back to Roussillon. Play down the channel. Oh, he's giving it away aimlessly. No, 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 no. Come on, see this out. Well, in. Fran, Brenner. Carranza, Zuli. It's a good win. An okay performance. We need to be scoring those chances. There we go. That takes us up to nine for on 13 points. We're ahead of schedule, which is lovely. Uh, I'm not taking anything to position. Like, I don't care that we're near Europe. I just want to survive. This team needs to build up and build a reputation. So these results are huge. Performance was okay. Disappointed with Carranza. Maybe Jellaware would have scored those chances, but I, I do like him as a player. He's still a kid. So things things are going really, really well. Uh, I need to try and find another right back for cover for Jean B. And maybe we maybe go a little bit more expressive down the right. Especially when we're playing on positive. But yeah, happy with that. The games aren't really exciting on camera, and I apologise for that, but we're, we've got a long, long way to go. So first season in La Liga, trying to build this up. So thank you guys for watching. Please drop a like and subscribe. I was looking, only 96% of people who watch these videos don't subscribe. So please, please drop a subscribe button. Please drop a like on it. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to the channel. Continue to grow. Thank you for all the support. So until next time, from FC Andorra, me, Andrew, it's bye for now.